What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Life of Yes. I hope you guys had an amazing day. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, it will be none other than the biggest lie on the internet. The king of Instagram. If you haven't already known, it was all fake. Who am I talking about? None other than Dan Bilzerian. If you haven't heard already, Dan Bilzerian has been sued by Ignite. If you don't know who Dan Bilzerian is, he calls himself the king of Instagram. As of now, he has 32 million Instagram followers. So who is Dan Bilzerian? Allegedly, he's got everything. He's got the cars, the money, the models, the lifestyle, celebrities coming to him. He's got everything that a 16 years old would dream of, but it's not real. It was all a lie. So let's rewind back. Who's Dan Bilzerian's father? Dan Bilzerian's father is Paul Bilzerian. He was a corporate takeover and made a lot of money. But spoiler alert, it was illegal. He made about $60 million and he was convicted and he was sent to prison. The government forced him to pay back. He only paid $3 million and he told him he spent the rest of the money. They're like, how did he spend that so quick? He just said he spent it. A lot of sources are saying that he hid a lot of the money in the shell companies and offshore accounts. We will never know. And moving to his son, Dan Bilzerian. Allegedly, he won $50 million dollars playing poker in one year that's more than any poker player has ever won in their entire life according to dan he done it in skill alone <laughs> 2017 dan bilzerian founded ignite and the money hasn't stopped flowing down the drain ever since in 2019 they reported lost 50 million dollars to be fair they did make 10 million dollars the million dollar lawsuit is coming from curtis hufferman he attributes the 50 million dollar loss because of the lavish spending than bilzerian i have no sympathy for curtis because before you go into business with someone like dan you can see his lifestyle on instagram and you know the type of man he is. He inherited a bit of wealth from his father, which was illegal. I don't like to prey on people's downfall, but I just don't like liars. And it's good to see that it's all fake. Let's go back to Dan Bilzerian. He done an interview with uh, Kevin O'Leary. Kevin O'Leary is a businessman and also known for the TV show Shark Tank. It's a US version of uh, Dragon's Den. So in this interview, he showed him around his 60 five million pound mansion i've been inside some of the most incredible mansions in la but this 31,000 square foot behemoth in bel-air is one of the most outrageous homes i've ever been invited to see he reportedly paid a mind-boggling 65 million dollars for this mega mansion and he invited me over to check it out why don't you show me this house cool man movie theater this is a bowling alley here. You never know what you're gonna get. Today it's bowling and heels. Oh, look at that. There it is. It's just another day in Dan's house. The dollar vintage Shelby Cobra is on display, spinning like a work of art. Now we head upstairs to check out the rest of the house. All right, Dan, what do we have here? Got a dining room, got some living rooms. And why would anybody need two dining rooms? There's actually three. That's the one I normally do breakfast at, and then this is a more like you a- You showed him around his 65 million pound mansion. Guess what, guys? It's not his, it was rented, and it wasn't rented with his money, it was rented through Ignite. And Ignite has a lot of shareholders. It's not just Dan Bilzerian. It's got a lot of shareholders. And there's a lot of people that are putting money into Ignite. And Dan Bilzerian said, in order for the business to grow, I need to show that I'm living this lifestyle. Ignite was paying $200,000 a month uh, for Dan Bilzerian to live in the mansion. And he got kicked out. And guess what? All his neighbors were celebrating. It just shows how popular the guy is. Also, what is Dan Bilzerian known for? There's a lot of models. He always has models in his video. And I think you've guessed already, they're paid for as well. They're paid to be there. 
let's go back to some more things that Dan Bilzerian doesn't own. The yacht, it's not his, it's rented as well. Some of the things that he's getting sued for, for his crazy spending, are 50000 for a bed frame. $50,000 for a bed frame. My man should never be complaining about sleep. He didn't even buy his own bed. According to TMZ, this is some of the money that Dan Bilzerian spent. $60,000 on a Star Wars set. I don't know, what would you do with that? He also spent $50,000 on a famous bed frame. He spent $40,000 on a climbing wall. I think that's very needed for the people that want to run away from Dan Bilzerian. He spent $15,000 on a ping pong table. And he spent $80,000 thousand dollars on a vault. Shows guys don't be fooled by social media. Not everything looks as it seems. I know a lot of people that are depressed because they don't have the things they want. They're comparing their lifestyle with people on social media. Believe you me, a lot of the time it's just BS. It's fake. Um, they're trying to show you a fake lifestyle. There's a famous saying, fake it till you make it. And this is the true definition of it. So not everything that you see online is real. Uh, that picture that you liked and that you were amazed, that picture has been taken a thousand times. So just keep chasing your dreams, keep chasing your goals and don't compare yourself to others. Life has no manual and life's not a race, it's a marathon. Everyone has their own time. Let's go back to the king of Instagram, Dan Bilzerian. There's a clip of, of him in 2017 shooting. He's running to a police officer saying, give me a gun, give me a gun. Let me help, let me help. And the police are saying, get away, I don't know you. And he keeps insisting, give me a gun, give me a gun. And the police officer saying, get away, I don't know you. I don't understand, does he have like a superhero fantasy that he wants to live? Bill Zarian shows him, he says I'm a cop, and he shows him his creds. You've guessed it right, he bought his police cred as well. In the middle of crisis, there's shooting, and he wants to play the hero. And he's got his friend with him filming for the Instagram stories. I just don't understand the guy, that has to be one of the worst things he's done apart from kicking a model in the face with combat boot. Allegedly kicking a woman in the face at a nightclub. Did you do that? Um, well... That just shows you what kind of a man Dan Bilzerian is and what he thinks of women. He claims he's done Navy SEAL. He couldn't complete it. Apparently he broke his leg twice and he got kicked off the course. That's not true, he couldn't hack it. Because you're about to be medically retired from the military, he goes, for broken legs, and you want me to request, or approve a request for you to go to SEAL training. He goes, how f stupid are you? Night sells CBDs, TCH, and beverages. If you guys don't know what CBD and TCH is, it's basically cannabis. It's pretty much clear that this is coming to an end. The guy's whole life was fake. Except his beard, his beard was real. Beard game's quite strong. According to Dan Bilzerian, I've never half asked anything I cared about. Everything I do is on the highest level, and Ignite is going to top everything I've ever done before. I have to agree with him. He has definitely half asked his company to the ground. Some people are very surprised that this is not the Dan Bilzerian we know. Uh, we thought he was a smart business person, we thought that he would run a tight ship, he did, and that ship is the Titanic, unfortunately. One more thing, Knight paid 26000 to boost uh, Dan Bilzerian's Instagram followers, even his Instagram followers is fake, my god. What shocked me the most is Ignite only sold $10 million worth of product and spent 27 million dollars in marketing it just shows you what a great genius dan is and he has 32 million instagram followers and he needed to spend 27 million dollars it just shows that uh, he's got a lot of bots in there they're not real people because conversion rate is absolutely terrible it's like 0.1 percent 
and that's extremely low for someone on Instagram with that large following. It just shows guys, don't get fooled by the hype. Remember, not everything you see online is real. The majority of the time is fake. So that's a wrap for Dan Bilzerian. Kids, don't get fooled by the social media. It's not real. Stay in school, uh, work hard, graft, uh, follow your dreams. Some people achieve their goals early in life. Some people a lot later in life. I'll just give you a quick example. Colonel Saunders, KFC founder. He started it at 63 and you will achieve your goals. Uh, remember, work hard till your idols become your rivals. Don't compare yourself to no one and life is not a race, it's a marathon. It's been your boy Yaz. I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you comment, make sure you share, make sure you destroy the like button. If you haven't subscribed, yes you. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you click on the subscribe button. It's your boy. I really appreciate all the love and the support. It means a lot to me. I've got a lot more content coming your way. So make sure you stay in tune. I appreciate all the love. Thank you for the support. It's your boy, yes. Peace.